Hello everybody and welcome. Today we're doing something quite a bit different than uh, we normally do. I don't know why I have headphones on still. On. It's actually harder to hear myself when I have them on. Um, so we're going to be doing tutorials now. Uh, basically what we're going to run through is I'm making an advertisement for Squid Grips for the UMG St. Louis tournament that is going on uh, the weekend of April 20th. Uh, you guys will be seeing part one probably on the 18th or 19th and then you won't see the finished product until after the actual tournament so if you guys want to see the finished product before i get done with all this be sure to check out the stream i think it's twitch.tv backslash umg gaming um probably i think it's umg gaming too i'm not exactly sure which stream it's going to be on but just keep an eye out for it if you guys care about competitive call of duty so we're going to get started what we are going to get started by doing is first we need to create a new composition. That's obviously step one for everything. Now there's a lot of different things going on with the whole composition layout. There's a number of different settings that you guys can change and there's also a lot of different options that when you pull down this drop down it can be very confusing. So basically what we need to do is we need to make something that's 1280 by 720 and we want it to be square pixels because widescreen format I think is a 1.21 yeah 1.21 that's widescreen but we're not doing widescreen we're just doing a normal native uh, 16 by 9 I think it is yeah 16 by 9 um, so the best the best thing that I always recommend doing is HDV HDV is a very standard setup um, it works great with YouTube uh, there's a few other things in here that probably would work great with YouTube, but we're not going to do those. So 1280 by 720, that's all we need, square pixels. 29.97 is your desired frame rate. Now, some people like to do 30. It's it's a toss-up. Like, you can go either way. Um, basically, you will you won't get drop frame, and sometimes you'll also get, um, like, audio lag because it's trying to catch up with itself. Uh, and then this advertisement, we're just going to make it 20 seconds long. That's all we're doing. So 20 seconds is our duration. We'll make the back black. So there we go. We are just fine. We're going to make this um, fit. Okay, it fits. So we have our composition. We'll just quick name it Squid SG for UNG. So this is going to be our final composition. This is where we're going to put everything into. So we're going to be creating a lot of different things and hopefully uh, you guys will be able to follow along and this will help you with using After Effects. Um, but we're just gonna get started by doing simple animations. So we have a number of assets over here. We have a uh, background image. Uh, we have one of the squid faces. Um, grab the advantage, the actual logo, and then we have a few images of the controllers. Uh, we won't probably use the images of the controllers because we're gonna bring in something new. Um, now I actually already downloaded this now I just need to find it uh, where did our thing actually go downloads you know what I probably saved it to my desktop because I don't think there it is how to apply to squid grips so we're gonna use that um, in conjunction with all this as just a little segment that will actually show you the little step-by-step -step very briefly um, that it's I think it's three easy steps to actually apply these um, so let's get started. So we'll bring all of our assets in. We gotta wait for this all to actually come in. Um, now you guys can't see this because my webcam is gonna be covering it up. But in the top right, it'll actually say over here um, that it's adding certain files and it's now conforming the video file. So that is good to go. So what we're gonna start off with is you just need to get a good base. So to get our good base, we're just going to throw the background in here. Uh, we're going to turn up the quality, by the way, just so you guys can see this. And then I'm going to turn it back down when I'm actually working. So we have our background in here. Uh, you can see that it's actually quite large, it's much larger than we actually need it to be. But we're actually going to we're going to scale it up just a bit. We're going to scale it up just a bit. Um, and another way that you guys can scale it up besides just selecting it and using the anchor points. Um, let's see here. What is it? Uh, scale. So it's just S. You just hit the S key. Um, some other ones that you guys will need to know. Transparency, opacity, uh, rotation, position, and anchor point. Um, so that was A for anchor point. 
S for scale, R for rotation, T for opacity or transparency, and then P for position. Those are like your key things that you guys will need to know. So we're gonna use this as just like our main background. It's gonna be, we're gonna kind of be moving around on it and things are gonna be happening. So it's gonna, it's gonna create a, a, an interesting background, but we don't like, I don't like this gray tone. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, let's just see how it looks with the logo. Eh, it looks all right with the logo back there, but once again, I don't really like the black tone, so we're gonna change the color up. We're gonna actually make this into a blue background. Now, there's a number of different ways. There's a million ways to do a single thing, but I'm just gonna show you guys the easiest way that I think that you guys can do it. So what we're gonna do is gonna go and create a new solid, 1280 by 720, and that's exactly what we need. And now we're gonna change its color. Now we want something in that blue range that they had before, like in their logo. Uh, which should be around here, which is, uh, was that the hue is at uh, 213. So it's pretty close. It's pretty close. So anyways, so there we have it. Now, where is this? All right, so right here on the bottom, toggle switches and modes. Now we can, sw we can switch over from being able to parent it to objects or to turn on different switches. We can make it a 3D layer. We can make an adjustment layer, or we can add uh, motion blur or rasterize it. Uh, what we need to do is we need to switch our mode. So now we can change it to, you know, multiply, anything like that. These, these are things that you can find in Photoshop if any of you guys have used Photoshop before, but it's now the web version. So we can actually stencil things out. We can do a lot of very interesting things um, with what we have. So we're just going to set it to multiply for now. Um, actually, let's set it to color. There, so we have it set to color. I'm not liking how bright it is. I think I want to darken it up just a tad. We can double click on this layer. Oh, nope. We're not going to double click on the layer. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. It's been a while since I've actually done all this stuff. So we're not going to double click on the layer because what it'll do is it'll bring up the normal layer, um, which... I've never really found a good use for all this unless you're using video footage and then you can key things out with uh, these tools down there. But we're actually going to go to layer solid settings. So command shift Y if you guys are on the Mac. Um, I think it's control shift Y if you're on the PC side. So we're actually just going to go in. We're going to change its color up. Um, I don't think it'll update live. Oh yeah, it does. So we're just going to drop it down just a little bit. Um, and then something that we can do to actually make it a little bit darker is we can add an adjustment layer. So we'll go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then we'll add an effect. We want to add a color correction effect of curves. Um, a lot of people don't realize, but curves is extremely, extremely useful. You can use curves for everything. So everybody that uses, um, uh, what is it? Uh, they use uh, do, 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 levels. People that use levels never use levels again. Curves is where it's at because with curves, we can sit here and actually adjust all the different color channels. Um, but we don't want to adjust the actual blue because we like our blue color. So we're going to just adjust the actual background layer. So we just have to move it down. Um, and now, now I'm not liking that color. So we're going to change it actually. We're going to actually change it back to where it was because I think it was actually good there. Uh, and then another thing you guys can do uh, with hitting transparency, we can change its opacity so it's not quite as strong. So let's see, let's see what 50% uh, looks like right now. So that's 50. Uh, let's turn it on and off. That's actually a decent amount when you think about it. Uh, so we'll we'll go with that for now. And uh, I think, you know what? I think that's all that we're gonna have time for. But first, remember everybody, when when working in After Effects or working in any creative program, save, 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 save. Because chances are I was gonna go through this entire thing, not save it, and then right at the end it was gonna crash on me. So. File, save as. And now we're actually going to go and save this project file in our squid grips. 
So we'll just save this as squid grips and save. So anyways, I will see you guys for the next episode. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye.